Hi, sweetie. How are you? So good to see you. We have a snow day. Yay. I'm so glad you live close enough that you can just walk over. Um, so, it's a cold, snowy day, and I thought oh, we might start off with a tea tasting when you called. Does that sound good? So I brewed the teas, because I know you like to try my new teas anyway. And I got a new Emota box. And unfortunately, it's gonna be my last Emota box, but just for a little bit. Um, I finally got my mom to start getting me kind of practical things for Christmas. And one of the things that she got me was a whole bunch of tea. So we're slowly working our way through that tea, but it will probably take us until um, almost the summer to get through all the loose tea that she sent us. So as much as I love, 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 love Amoda, and I really do love Amoda, and I will get it again because I love trying the different teas. It's one of my favorite boxes. I just can't justify getting more tea when I have a shelf full of tea. So I may even start it up again before I'm completely done with the tea that we have. But once we've whittled away at it a little bit, because um, I just don't even have room for more tea right now. So, uh, but I did get a box um, recently and I have opened this is how Emota comes, and then you get your three teas in here. And I have to admit, I've I lost the card that came with my Emota box. I don't know what happened to it. Um, but luckily, they have all of their information online, so I can still read you everything about everything we've got here. And we've got Minty Winter Wonderland by Tiesta Tea. We've got Black Forest by Naked Teas Galore. And we've got Genmai Hojicha um, by Sarah's Tea Caddy. So I've brewed all of these in little teapots and I have one for you and I have one for me. And I got us each cups and I thought we would start off, I always like to start with the black and then move to the herbal. Um, you know, and I don't know why I do that. I think it's just because um, that's the way I drink throughout the day. I start with black, then I move to green, then I move to herbal because that works with my sleep schedule. So, um, so let me start off with this one. This is the Black Forest. And it says, this tea shares aromatic notes with Merlot wine, chocolate cherries, dried fruit, and flowers. To taste this blend is classic chocolate and cherries. Ceylon makes for a light black tea base, the backdrop for a fudgy chocolate start and cherry on the finish. Add a splash of milk and a little sugar to mimic the whipped cream topping. Yum. Okay, so here's yours. There you go, and here's mine. So let's taste that. Mmm. So this has just Ceylon black tea, carob chips, dried cherries, dried juniper berries, and natural flavoring. Yum, it's a black tea from Sri Lanka. High caffeine, you wanna have the water boiling. One teaspoon per eight ounce cup for three to five minutes. And let's see. They chose it because black forest cake is so tempting, they decided to extend the holiday inspired tea selections. The flavors are subtle enough to have this as a breakfast tea. Yeah, I would say this would be a good breakfast tea. It's not too heavy. Um, and they talk a little bit about Naked Teas Galore here. Um, and luckily on their website, I've never really noticed, at the bottom of when you click on each different uh, tea that's on here, it says buy tea at the bottom. So you can buy each individual tea. Um, Naked Teas Galore, why why we like Naked Teas Galore. 
They're local and we love to support homegrown. When we first called these guys up, it was like talking to a friend. They're a modest bunch who are good at what they do. They have one certified tea master on staff and two almost there. We continue to love every tea sta sample that Naked Tea sends us. Their teas and flavors are all natural, kosher, vegan, gluten-free, certified organic, and contain no allergens. They've, um, they've sent teas from Naked Tea before, I believe, because I recognize that little blurb. So, very tasty. Um, yeah, I like that a lot. What do you think? Do you like it? Mm. Yeah, I mean, if you're a purist, if you're really a tea purist, um, you may not like these blends as much, but I like them. I mean, I always have some regular, you know, Ceylon tea. I have some, you know, English breakfast. I have my more basic teas that I drink every day. I like these as sort of the added little when I want something special kind of kind of tea. So, all right. So the next one on here, let's see, is, let's have the green tea, the Gen Mai Hojicha. I think that's what it's called. This is by Sarah's Tea Caddy. Um, a variation on two classics, Japanese green tea, Gen Mai Cha, and Hojicha. With this blend, you get the sweetness and butter, oh, and buttery popcorn of a genmaicha and the toastiness of a roasted hojicha. Savory and sweet, nutty and smooth. This tea is a perfect warming green tea for winter weather. This has just roasted green tea and toasted brown rice. I love, 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 love brown rice tea. I was introduced to it at in Indonesia and the way they make it is they just really take unhulled brown rice and they brew it like tea. Now it's not tea, it doesn't have any actual tea in it, but it's this brown rice drink and I love it. It's usually toasted brown rice, but sometimes I'd make it, I'd just buy like a big bag of unhulled rice and I would pour boiling water over some of it and I really, really, really like it. So my guess is I'm gonna love this. Um, this is something else I got for Christmas. I had a nice cup that had a tea steeper in the top. It was more like a glass thermos and my son broke it. Um, I was sad my son broke it, but my mom had got it for me last Christmas so my mom got me this this Christmas and it's cute. It's kind of like a um, like a French press for coffee, but you just don't press down the um, strainer and it just keeps the tea from coming out the spout. So a little bit for me and a little bit for you. Mmm, 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 I've missed brown rice tea. I haven't had any in probably a couple years. Oh yeah, that's one I might actually buy. Cause I can't find, I can't find just unhulled rice anywhere. I probably could if I went to the Asian grocery store, which is probably what I should do. But I love it, love it, love it. It's interesting because it says a variation on two classic Japanese green teas. Well, brown rice is not a green tea. Brown rice is brown rice. <laughs> um, to put a spin on a fa familiar Japanese favorite, this is a perfect dinner tea. Now, this would be good because it's not real high in caffeine. Let's see what it says. This is from Japan, low caffeine. You don't want it fully boiled. You want it um, 195 degrees Fahrenheit. One teaspoon per eight ounce cup, and you only have to brew it for 30 seconds to a minute. 
Sarah specializes in finding the highest quality Japanese tea varieties which are typically from smaller and more exclusive tea producers. She deals with more regions of Japan and more producers than most importers. So if there are good teas to be discovered, she'll try to get them. She's not limited to what just a few producers have to offer. This is unique in the industry. Cool. I wonder what that would cost. Let's see. Let's see if it's easy to find. Looks like it may not be real easy to find. Because it's the Genmaicha Hoja. Oh, here it is. Click here to visit the shop online. I'm just curious what. It's not available at this time. Oh, no. Well, I may have to just go online and search um, search for brown rice tea because I think I need some. Yeah, it's been a while since I've had some. Good, I'll, I'll drink this, see if it's available to buy, and if it's still not available to buy, I think I'll end up having to find another brand I can buy it from. So the last one is an herbal from South Africa. So it's a roy oh it's a rooibos. Rooibos peppermint and white chocolate. Yum. It's caffeine free. You want to have the water boiling. 1 teaspoon for eight an 8 ounce cup and you can brew it for 5 minutes. I've been told you cannot really overbrew um herbal teas. So, let's well, let me read it. This is an uncomplicated yet delicious tea. This tastes as the ingredients suggest, white chocolate, vanilla, and mint. It came as a surprise to us that the natural flavors of rooibos made their way through all that mint. The honey and almost woodsy characteristics that are definitely there, but that peppermint keeps going and going. I think rooibos really tastes kind of vanilla-like. Um, so I think this will probably be a really nice pairing. Let's try it. Mmm. Yeah, I like that. I like it. It does taste really nice and minty. What do you think? Oh, that's your favorite? I can see that. These are all really desserty type teas. The first one's got chocolate in it. I think the brown rice one is always, even though it's kind of smoky, it's light, so it seems kind of desserty to me. Um, it reminds of us of Christmas candy canes, chocolate, and winter. You can use boiling water when steeping rooibos tea. You, can, you also don't have to worry about oversteeping this. It won't get bitter, just super minty. See, that was, that was right. When we drink it, when that sweet craving takes hold. So this is by Tiesta Tea, and it says, we like Tiesta's goal of making its customers lives more flavorful. They have the values Emota seeks in suppliers. They're socially responsible and everyone involved in the supply chain is fairly compensated. Oh, that's nice. Like Emota, Tiesta Tea insp inspiration came while traveling, so we had an instant connection. These are all really nice. These are all a hit for me. I like every one of them. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to add the, these to my, my teas for this month. These, these little packets do tend to last me about a month because you can reuse the tea leaves. That's one thing that Amoda taught me, um, that you can reuse the tea leaves. You can re-steep uh, a pot of tea about three times. So we've, we've been doing that, making our tea last a lot longer. And um, 
it still tastes really good even on the third steep. So uh, especially with our green teas, we'll often kind of overload the pot and then you can steep it like six times or so. So these are really good. Um, I'm glad you could try them with me. I'm glad I had a good bunch to try with you for my last bunch. And I did email them. You have to email them to cancel. And I emailed them and saying, I will be back. I love you guys. And I think it's the owner emailed me and said, uh, you know, I'm glad to hear you like the service. Uh, and, I, and I do just need to put it on hold for a little bit. But uh, my guess is another couple months. And we'll be through these three and we'll be kind of whittling away at the tea that we have in the house. We just won't buy any more. And then I'll be ready to have a few new teas start coming in. So that's what I'm hoping. We've been drinking a lot of tea around the house. But um, well, we got the whole day off. What do you want to do the rest of the day? I know. It's such a luxury. I can't, I can't even think. Alright, well maybe I'll give you a manicure. Okay. You just let me know. Alright, let's go get some more tea or hot chocolate or something. To, let's get some cookies. Or we could even make s'mores. We've been making a lot of s'mores because we've been having the fire going because it's so chilly out. So, we, s'mores would be good with these teas because they're such desserty teas. Want to go make s'mores? Yeah, I've got like this whole system I take, like the um, one of the cooking racks from my toaster oven, and I put the, I get little um, kebab sticks, and I put the m marshmallows on the kebab sticks and stick it in the holes, and then put the s'more, the uh, chocolate, and cracker on there, and put it right next to the fire, and then you don't have to stand there and hold your. Um, marshmallow, which I figured out because we didn't have any green sticks, and so I had to use kebab sticks, and then I figured out I could put them in this little thing. So I'll go show you my system. We'll have s'mores and more tea. Okay.